We're currently at the Grand Valley Institute for Women and this is the medium security area. So here you have about 15 different cabins like these that are lived in by medium and minimum security inmates. So each house, for lack of a better term, has between three and 12 different women living in it. They've got their own kitchens, they've got lots of different fridges, they do their laundry here, they each have their own bedrooms. Um, they've got TVs. It's very much like living in a university campus or even a cabin, really, because they have their own gardens and it's up to them to, to maintain it as much as they want. So. What's going on back there? There's a lot of inmates in that house that are currently watching us and definitely entertained by watching us walk around. This is the first time they've probably ever seen a film crew here. Um, but everybody's like, hey there. Hi, having a good day? Yeah, and you? We are, thank you. Good, good. Glad here. It's almost like a little neighborhood here, right? Everybody's talking out to the people on the street, the people that don't belong. And uh, yeah, we've been here for a little bit now and it's uh, a pretty happy place. It's not what you would expect when you're thinking about what a woman's prison would look like. I thought there'd be a lot more barbed wire and a lot less white picket fences and picnic tables and flowers and gardens. I really didn't expect to see Muskoka chairs here. I expected to see bars on the windows making sure that these women stayed in their homes when they were supposed to be. And instead it's just a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom that I don't think you would see in many other countries in their prisons.